Hello! Today we're going to be replacing the taillights on the 87 Volvo 740 wagon. We're also going to be replacing our sealed beam high beams with brand new units from Sylvania. Let's do it! Let's talk about the tools I have for this job. Um, I brought along a flathead screwdriver. Uh, it's not on camera, but I also have a Phillips head screwdriver to work on the headlight. I have a spinner handle with a 10 millimeter deep well socket. It needs to be a deep well. I've also got a ratchet for that in case I can't get the nuts off. I brought an extension. I don't think I'll need it, but I have it anyways. And I have a magnet because it's hard to get these nuts off without dropping them. Uh, you may just be able to pick them up with the magnet or you may want to magnetize your tool in order to go ahead and remove them. So let me show you what this looks like. So you've got on the back side of the taillight, you've got two studs at the bottom and then you've got one at the top. Uh, basically it goes in like this and I'll show you the piece of carpet that I removed. This is just an all-weather mat. You may or may not have one of these. Basically, the panel is off camera and there's a strap that you pull and you remove it and it gives you room to work. So what you can't see off camera is the two holes, the two access holes are down here to access the two nuts and then you can also access the one at the top. Uh, once you remove that piece, it's really easy to find. Uh, basically, I wanted to explain to you how that works so I can move forward with the uh, actual swapping over. When you try to move the wires over to your four bulbs here, uh, the key thing obviously is you wanna make sure that you keep them uh, straight and make sure you put them over from the existing taillight to the new taillight and put them in the correct place. However you wanna do this is up to you. Uh, if you wanna tape them and label them, if you want to memorize the colors, um, if you find that you're able to swap them over uh, one at a time, you can do that. It's totally your call. Um, you can also check the bulbs. This one I got from a friend and it came with bulbs and I checked them and the filaments look okay. Uh, but you'll ultimately want to make sure you check all these before you bolt everything back up just to make sure uh, that all your bulbs work. Uh, it's definitely easier to replace the bulbs while this is out of the car than if it's already installed. So if you're in here, you might as well check it. So here we go. And we are back. Uh, it is a new day and I'm wearing different clothes. Uh, obviously I did not get this job done yesterday. I had a couple of snags that I ran into while I was working on it. Um, that's just how working on old cars goes. I will say that one of the things that I ran into when I was doing this job was a slight difference in between the two taillights. So this is the one that I took off. It has a terminal down here on the bottom for, it's kind of like a, 
uh, I think it's like a ground strap that basically connects to a bunch of bulbs at once. And then the tail light that I put on is from a different year 740 and it has the same terminal but up high. So um, that threw me for a loop. I had a couple of connectors that came loose from their actual wire so I had to go ahead and fix that. And then I definitely lost track of which wires go where and then that got me all turned around. So I had to basically stop what I was doing, ran out of uh, sunlight yesterday, got the wiring diagram out in the shop manual, got everything lined up correctly, it is now in place, and I have tested everything. Uh, the moral of the story is, A, don't get frustrated when old cars give you a hard time. It happens. It's part of the uh, compromise of owning an old car, uh, but, you know, I still enjoy working on them, so for me, it's worth it. I will say that the uh, passenger side taillight has fewer wires, and there's not as much to go wrong, but I'm going to be smart this time. I'm going to take a photo of the wires before I start, and I'm going to knock that out here in hopefully a few minutes, and then I'm going to uh, also go and do the headlights. As a bonus for this job taking too long, my hood support, or excuse me, trunk supports have showed up in the mail, so we're going to go ahead and quick swap those as well. So let's get to it. Okay, so just like everything else that we do on this car, the key here is this is old plastic. You don't want to force anything. Take your time. So before I started this video, I went ahead and removed these clips right here. These go down in through a square, pe uh, square hole basically, and they're sort of like spring-loaded. Uh, my left side, or my passenger side, is already broken. This one's intact, so just take your time when you do these. And when you remove these, you also want to take your time. There are some uh, ways in which the chrome bezel sort of hooks around some things. So just look in there and it should come up without really any force. Uh, generally speaking, you kind of want to go up and then it should pivot out. Uh, and there you can see some of the connections that exist on that bezel. So. Uh, my understanding is that this is basically just some flathead screws. So I'm going to take this off now and then I'll go do the other side. Okay, all done. I'll go ahead and do the other side and then we will take a look at those uh, support rods and for the tailgate in the back. It's getting a little hard to see out here, but basically here is what one end of the support rods look like. This is a little metal clip that is one on each end of the support rod. This should be the way the clip looks on the one you're removing from your vehicle. If you're taking off supports and it seems to be holding okay, just make sure you have somebody watching to make sure it doesn't fall down on you. I have a actual vice grip clamped onto one of the support rods, so I know it's not going to collapse on me. Basically, I'm going to use a screwdriver in order to pop out those clips, and then they just come right off the studs on the car, and then I will put these new ones in place.
Ta-da! Awesome. Okay, that's it. That's the whole video I have for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna show you some of the before and after photos. And I washed the car yesterday. So now I'm gonna be able to show you a before and after of the tailgate before I changed the tail lights, before I washed it, before I got rid of any of the stickers. And I'm gonna be able to show you after I replaced the tail lights, after I cleaned up and removed the stickers, after I washed the car, and after I got my new license plate. So I hope you enjoy.